Hey guys, good morning. So, I just dropped my children off at school and now I'm headed to work. And, man, it really feels like Monday. <laughs> I definitely do not want to be up right now. Um, it's funny because even my husband overslept this morning and we never oversleep. I mean, the weather's kind of crappy, but it's, I mean, it's real crappy. It looked like it rained all night and it's supposed to rain all day today, but it's not raining at the moment, but it's real gloomy. Anyhow, <clears throat> I just want to go back home and go to bed, but that's not going to happen. So I figured I'd jump on here and say hey to everyone and maybe record a video let you guys know why I didn't upload last week so um, I did not upload last week because I did record so the video that I recorded already was about accreditation and whether um, it's important as to which school to go to for diagnostic medical sonography. So I figured I would talk to y'all about that on my drive into work. So, it is not, see I feel like I'm gonna get upset with this video quality too. So I'll, you know, let me get to work and then I will record before I go into work. How about that? All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so I made it to work. <laughs> and as usual, I'm here early. So, I can go ahead and just record this video. <clears throat> like I was saying, I recorded a video on Wednesday night. And it was going to be a really good one. But when I went to edit it, I did not seem like myself. Um, and I just didn't feel right uploading it. So, last week was a little bit of a blur for us. Um, we just had a lot going on. So, we made it. <laughs> and so here it is it's Monday um, and ready for a new week <laughs> but so since I'm here early I figured I'd go ahead and record this video um, re-record it but this time I'm gonna be in my car and I'm not really a fan of doing videos in my car but I definitely want to get a video up for y'all um, I'm gonna try to upload it tonight so Let's go ahead and get into this video. So today's video is gonna be about uh, accreditation and whether or not it matters what type of school you go to for your diagnostic medical sonography program. Okay, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so if you are an aspiring sonographer, you, um, you, don't, you do want to know, like you don't have to pick the most prestige school to go to but you definitely want to make sure you've done your research on that school um, and what I mean by that is certain schools have different reputations and you want to make sure that you're going to a pretty reputable school because if not then you're gonna waste your money so um, what I would say is and I'm reading my notes here because I definitely don't want to miss anything so what I would say is, is when you're going to do your research, I would go to the KHEP website. Um, if you're not familiar with KHEP, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'll link it down in the, the description box below, but I'll also put the, uh, the website right here on the screen. But, so if you go to the website that I just put up on the screen, um, you can look up your school. And when you go look up your school, in fact, let me see if I can show you right here. Um, it should be like the first thing that's on the like the very first screen to help you look for school. Um, yeah, one of the first things, find an accredited program. So you can definitely go onto that website and look up your school in your area and see if they're accredited through KHEP. Now let me tell you a little bit, a little bit of a story um, on accreditation, and it's my own personal story. So. <clears throat> As you all know, I went to uh, x-ray school right out of the Mar uh, Marine Corps and I was in kind of like a hurry to just get a good like degree or a program or a certificate so that way I could start working right away. Um, and so I did not, I was young, I did not do 
a lot of research when I went was ready to go to school. I just found the first school that offered me a program and who could get me in the fastest and I took it. Um, with that being said, I get to graduation and I knew that it was only a limited license, but what I did not know because I did not do my research is that the competing school in the area was accredited and actually had um, like contracts with stu with school, the sc with the hospitals to get their students into their hospitals. And so, um, and also too, they offered a, a full license for x-ray tech. So I only had my limited, like I said, and that means that I could scan anything from the neck or not scan x-ray anything from the neck down. And so, you know, it kind of put me in a, a bad place. Then when I went to go find a job, it was very hard to find a job because my school was not accredited. Um, so this time around, when I went to school for ultrasound, I did my research. And um, I went on the KHEP website, and like I said, I just did my research. So at the time when I went to school, which I went to Virginia College, and I get that question quite a bit, but when I went to school, they were the only school in the area that I was willing to drive to that had their KHEP accreditation. Now, fast forward to very to me getting close to graduating, and as we're getting it, getting ready to graduate, go into our internships, the the teachers were like, "Hey, I really, 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 really need you to fill out these papers. I need you to if the, somebody from this kind of number calls you, I need you to answer it." And we were all kind of like, "Why? Like, we don't know what's going on." Well, I don't know if you guys remember, but. Uh, ITT, the the school that went out of business, was one of the schools um, in that had the same accreditation as the school that I had. The only so they went they closed down. Well, when they closed down, we lost our state accreditation. And I may be telling this wrong, but this is what I was told. So they lost the Virginia College lost their state uh, accreditation, and then we were saved by. KHEP because that's your national accreditation. So because we had KHEP, we were given time to come up with another state accreditation. Um, and unfortunately, not for my class, uh, wasn't the, even the class after us, we, they were safe. We got, we were all safe. But any class after that, um, were no longer accredited because they were unable to secure a um, a state accreditation that KHEP dropped them as well. So they ended up going out of business. In fact, two, I think it was the sec two classes after my graduation class, um, they went to school one day and the doors were like locked and a note on the door saying, sorry, we closed business. So talk about some pretty upset students there, especially students who were paying a lot of money because if you know anything about, if you know anything about school, like private schools, then you know that they're way more expensive than if you were going to another school. So it is, <laughs> I get a little weird because somebody right next to me looked at me because I'm recording. But anyways, if you know anything about schools, um, private schools are way more expensive. So they probably spent a ton of money to not get it back, basically. Because when somebody goes out of business for bankruptcy and uh, accreditation issues, they there's probably gonna be some lawsuits there. But anyhow, I was accredited, I graduated, I have a degree. Um, and it's actually recognized. So the reason accreditation is very important, number one, is that it shows employers at the school that you went to um, were able to meet expectations as far as uh, the standards for teaching, for education, and for, you know, diagnostic medical sonography standards. So it's very in that sense it's very important to have an accreditation now another reason it's very important 
is because if you are somebody who's gonna who's planning on going back to school to further their education like for their bachelor's degree or later on down the road you want to um, use your credits that you already have obtained to go to um, to become a PA or to go to radiology school if your credits were not accredited they're not going to transfer certain schools are not going to accept you into their programs to further advance and you'll have to redo a lot of your credits so it's kind of a pain in the butt so that's why I say accreditation is very very important any reputable facility whether it be school or hospital or law firm there is an accreditation there so um, for instance for the hospitals we go with JCO we have to up uphold a certain standard in order to stay operating and I'm not talking about operating on patients I'm talking about like operating as a business in general so I hope this answers your questions on accreditation and whether or not you should choose a certain school or not and I hope I didn't ramble on too long um, also too I really want to do like a Q&A so if you head over to my Instagram and uh, here in the next 24 hours um, I'm gonna post the question there and then you let me know any question you have and I'll do a Q&A over that so I hope you guys have a wonderful day it's time for me to get into work um yeah so i'll talk to y'all later thanks guys love y'all